Liz Johnson has done it again for the ninth time in her Hall of Fame career. Legend Liz won a major at the Gold Bowling PWBA Player Championship this season. She continues her quest for a third straight Player of the Year award right now at the 2017 PWBA Wichita Open. It is time, Bowling fans. The crown of champion the 2017 PWBA Tour rolls on with the PWBA Wichita Open Finals. Four of the world's best bowlers compete for a championship and a place in tour history. Here's the step ladder bracket. We start the show with amateur Juliana Franco of Colombia, taking on 21-time titleist Liz Johnson, Hall of Famer, two-time reigning player of the year. The winner takes on C.T. Raman of Malaysia, hoping for a first career title. Fellow Malaysian star Sinley Jane sits at the top of the bracket as the top seed also seeking her first ever tour title. Hello again, everyone, and welcome to Bowling on CBS Sports Network. It's great to have you with us. Dave Ryan alongside Carolyn Doran Ballard, my Hall of Fame broadcast partner, joined in a moment by Shannon O'Keefe, tour star as well. Three of our four bowlers today, international stars, young bowlers, maybe the wave of the future on tour. Absolutely is the wave of the future. Earlier this year, we had Singapore, Team Singapore, the entire team came over. They made their fair share of shows. Now we have Team Malaysia, we have Team Columbia in the house, and because of their training uh -huh. regimen, they are here on the TV show today. Well, Liz Johnson has done it again. Another major championship early this year, the Players' Championship this time. What more can be said about the legend? There really isn't, there really isn't anything more we can say about her. She is by far the greatest women bowler in the world right now. And we did talk about that bowler of the decade race, which I'm sure is not on either of their minds. But I have to tell you, if she continues to win majors like this, she will be the front runner over Kelly Kulik. Shannon O'Keefe now joined by our top seed, Sinley Jane. Jane, you and your teammates of Malaysia have come over, and this is one of four weeks that you've decided to bowl this summer on the PWBA Tour. Mm -hmm. You find yourself the number one seed. What's it going to take for you to win today? Uh, today, I will just enjoy my own game and take it one shot at a time and just enjoy the moment. Yeah. Thank you so much. Shannon, we can't wait. Start bowling on CBS Sports Network, PWBA Tour, international style and a legend. Only one wins a title today. We'll find out who that is. The PWPA Wichita Open on CBS Sports Network is sponsored by A Future for the Sport. Visit bowl.com or bpaa.com today to find out more. By Smithfield. Flavor hails from Smithfield. Get inspired at smithfield.com today. And by Nationwide. Nationwide is on your side. Ready to ball on CBS Sports Network. Liz Johnson. A ninth major, a 21st career title earlier this season on tour. As CDB talked about top of the broadcast, no one is better right now on the planet. Starts us off. Comes in high. 3 6 10. Stand for Liz. Liz trying to play a little bit further right on this pattern. First shot goes a little high, 3 6 10. She'll change to her spare ball to shoot spare. Didn't like it, that's why. 10 pin stand, so early open. Here's Juliana Franco from Colombia. Competing as an amateur. Debut comes here today. Soft spoken off the lanes. Does her speaking with powerful shots like that on the lanes. Team Columbia teammates are here rooting her on. Five step approach gets her ball, gets her ball low and into the swing. Gets on the side of it just a little bit. Look at her body though. It never moves nor does her head and gets her leg out in front of her, and then actually pulls through it, gets that 
gets that arm in front of her head, which allows her ball speed and to project her ball to the right. Nice start. She repeats her shots. Again, here's that light shaker, four, five, seven. Last to go. Wouldn't know it if nerves are a factor. TV debut. Liz Johnson second frame. Wow, all 10 now. Perfect spot in the one three pocket. Again, one of the things Liz is so great at is she opens in the first frame, but she comes back. Perfect the next shot. She lets it go. She doesn't dwell. I mean, she's got to, besides being the best bowler in the world right now, she by far could be the most mentally tough bowler also on top of physical. Four straight TV shows. The all-time record is six straight on tour. Could have been worse. Two-way double wood. What are we bowling on here today, Carolyn? Our feature for this morning lane pattern. We are bowling on a 40 foot two pa 42 feet of, of pattern with a high volume of oil. We're using two different oils. We're using fire and ice. Right here, this pattern is gonna tell you, you know what, you should be able to play to the right. But because of the buffer, again, we see transition using two different oils. Fire hooks a little bit more than ice. They're supposed to combat each other. So the girls tried to play to the right, that seven, eight, nine area, but quickly within two to three games, moved right back into the track area because of the friction. Disaster start for Liz here. And Juliano, Juliana on the bench is in tremendous shape. Looks for a turkey to begin the match. Go up by 43 pins here. Six stand up. Hundred and one competitors representing seventeen different countries, including her native Colombia at this event. There's the mark. Starts the ball in front of her body, goes right, wraps around her back just a little bit, but boy, tucks right back in. And again, you see that swing get a little bit in front of her face, which allows her to get that ball to the right. Not as much of a, like a Diana or a Verity, but, but close enough to allow her to push the ball to the right easily. This is not going to be an easy spare conversion at all. Two, four, ten split. Carolina, you approach this one. She'll switch to her spare ball. She's going to try to hit to the left of the two pin, slide it over into the 10. Gets it across the deck, but misses the 10, so her first open. After watching Liz really struggle in the first couple of frames here. Let's go down to Shannon. Both players are finding this left lane to be a little tighter down lane, as you kind of seen with their results. Liz is playing around 7-8-9. She's using an asymmetrical solid ball that should help the ball read the mid lanes, but still kick a little bit down lane. And Juliana is using a symmetrical solid. She has a little bit higher axis rotation, and so the solid is a little bit smoother off the spot. Right lane all good for Liz Johnson. Great shot by Liz. This right here is her bread and butter. She hits about nine going up the lane. Perfect shot. The left lane though, different story. Uh. Didn't like it, cross it over. Still figuring things out, five pin. Definitely didn't like that shot. And here's, here's one of the keys on the patterns. Even though the left lane 
tends to be a little bit tighter down lane. Your moves are not to the right. Your moves are to chase it to the left. That's where the pattern is. That, again, that right of 10 always seems to become out of bounds by, I mean, if you can play it, it's maybe for one game, maybe two. Other than that, it's chase it left. With Liz, it'll be those subtle parallel moves, the two and one, the three and two to keep her angles the same. Team Columbia teammates watching over her. 10 pin. Really good shot after having a split on the left lane. Again, that right here. Playing about 21 at the arrows, out to about the 11 board, just left of that tracer down lane. 10 pin spare, and as I say, every week with these patterns, you know what? You filled the frame, and you just gotta keep making shots. Rosie Rostrepo, Clara Guerrero, Maria Jose Rodriguez, all just in the second row there watching. They are very close. Team Columbia, and having them so close. Another testament time to- Time like this. Yep, another so testament important. to the, um, the training, too, of being together and, and, you know, motivating each other. Wow, it's that one three pocket with perfection. Just shrapnel remaining in the pin after that shot from Juliana Franco of Columbia. Taking on legend Liz Johnson. Opening play, PWBA Tour on CBS Sports Network. The road to Richmond for the Smithfield PWBA Tour Championship. Here are the leaders in the PWBA point standing. Liz Johnson, current leader. Diana Zabialova, second place. The winner of the Queens this year in Baton Rouge. Through this event, players are not only competing to qualify, but the top two point leaders will automatically advance to the TV finals at the Smithfield PWBA Tour Championship September 3rd through the 6th at Richmond International Raceway. Join us on CBS Sports Network September 6th, 8 Eastern, for the TV Finals. We can't wait. Tickets available now. You can join the conversation all season long on social media by using hashtag Road to Richmond. That, Carolyn, is going to be an event to remember in Richmond this year. Liz Johnson, good memories of her ninth major this season. Won the Players' Championship in Green Bay. Her second major title in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Six frame. Works on a spare. Still trying to find her look. A little bit too direct. I think Liz can definitely stay in that part of the lane because she's so good at it. Just increase her ball speed a little bit. Just have a, a little bit of angle in the front part of the lane. That one was way right to left. And on this, you cannot do that. There is no hold yet built into this pattern. 3 6 10 spare. Got that one. Are you looking for some great PWBA gear? Then visit the official online store of the PWBA at shoppwba.com. Seventh frame. Legend Liz works on a spare here, down 20. Ball change. Liz is making a ball change on this left lane. Uh. Didn't like it. And way high, looking maybe for a big break and a Brooklyn strike, but a 6-10 instead. If you can, if you, when we watch Liz again, you can see she really keeps, she really keeps that right, I'm sorry, that left shoulder in front of her. When it tends to get, it, she likes to keep it back where she can let her swing drop more free. When she tends to keep it too forward, she tends to shut down, and that's when she's missing a little bit to the left. First time on TV. Been a good start so far for Juliana.
Go up by 32 on the legend. You bet. Perfect spot in the one three pocket. She started her career at Maryland Eastern Shore for the Hawks. Only one year there and went back home to Bowling, great, Columbia. Great access rotation off her hand. Again, this is why she had such success. The girls that are, except for Liz, let's take her out of the play because she's just a, she lives, she's from a different planet. She's from like Saturn planet or Liz. something. Planet Liz, Lisbon. That Struggles shot. there a little bit with a washout. That shot there just got a little bit right of that tracer. We've talked about this. These are the targets that we've been using all week. As you can see, it just gets to the right of it and never picks up. Can't convert, so an open here. In the eighth frame. All of a sudden, Liz Johnson working a spare. has got a real shot. C.T. Raman, number two seed, awaits the winner of this match from Malaysia. Goes for her first career title. Eighth frame for Liz. Just missed the mark again. Tough split. Three, four, six, seven. Liz just doesn't seem comfortable yet, which is very, very unlike her. Usually she just increases her ball speed, stays right where she's at, hits the pocket. But right now it seems like she's a little uncomfortable in the fact of whether she needs to just roll through it and get around it just a little bit and or go get right back to up the back of it. See how her shoulder's there in front of her? That left shoulder, you see it go down? When she leans too far over and chases it, she closes down on it just a little bit too much, like right here. See how it see how it throws back, and then her right shoulder comes forward too quick. She closes down on it, misses a little left. Oh. Well, broken strike, and you can tell by the reaction, Liz is never comfortable in this match. And on the bench, Juliana sees her lead expand to 32 pins as she heads to the ninth frame. In very good shape. High shot, 6 10 up. Great shot. At, see how close her ball gets to her ankle? That's how much she gets that swing back next to her body. Even though it wraps just a little bit, she tucks right back in. And I'm going to tell you that, honestly, it looked like if you saw that in, in fast motion, it almost looked like she nips it right at the end. Take a quick look. I mean, look at that right here. That's amazing. That's great position. That's a high shot. That's a tough split. She's in great shape to win this match. Now I got to start thinking about the next one. Liz can strike out. If she gets to. Whoa, that goes into the channel. And hang on a minute here. Yep. Wow. All of a sudden, 16 pins. And Liz Johnson, who has struggled mightily in this match, can step up in the 10th and win it. Liana had been very solid to the last couple of frames, and the wheels come off late. The last two shots on this lane, Liz split. And I believe it was a 3 6 10. So she's gone high both times. Two strikes and seven to win. 
Got to have it for a victory. Doesn't get it. Four pin. And Juliana does advance. It was not easy. Four seed in her first ever TV appearance. Unflappable. No emotion. Didn't hear a word. No, no, no. Nope, <laughs> in she's English just, or Spanish, did we? Just kind of there bowling, huh? Although that was a great shot by Liz after not hitting the pocket. Real good shot. Another good showing by Liz. So the road ends for the 21-time title. She's won nine majors, but not a victory. A victory for Franco, though. She's on the next round. Late in the match, Juliana Franco almost had a major collapse with some problems and still hung on to beat the legend Liz Johnson, 172-154, to move up the ladder. Liz Johnson now joined by Shannon. Liz. You just never really looked like you got that comfortable. Obviously, yeah. it's not the result that you wanted. What was going on with that left lane for you? Um, I I don't know. It, it just it seemed to break down a little bit. And uh, plain and simple, I just wasn't making the good shots. Uh, but it did seem to break down a little quicker. And uh, didn't get comfortable. I just wasn't making the shots. Well, still making another show is, is a great feat and continuing a great season. So congratulations. Yeah. Thank good you job. very much. Thank you. Ready to bowl on CBS Sports Network. Match number two, C.T. Raman from Malaysia against Juliana Franco from Colombia, bidding for her first ever title. The same goes for C.T. Raman. From Kuala Lumpur, a big star for Team Malaysia. Light hit. 1, 2, 8, 10. Not the start you want. No, and it's it's one of those things where, you know, possibly still getting used to, you know, the TV lights, being on a TV show. It is her second show, but it, it's still, you know, you're by yourself. It's a different atmosphere. And we did see, you know, she made some really good shots on her last TV show once she got the nerves out of the way. So I expect the same. Can't cover the washout. Ten pin stand, so an early open. For CT Raman trying to become the first ever player from Malaysia to win on the PWBA tour. Franco, quiet, determined. Focus continues. Comes in high, 6 10. This shot definitely did not project the ball to the right at all. She's been getting her ball out to about that 10 board down lane. This one did not even get, my gosh, right of 13. He bounced right off the end of the pattern, right through the nose. Again, hold and hook. That's what you're looking for. Whether you like to get the ball right, like a Kelly Kulik, you're looking so that your ball's gonna recover off the pattern. Liz probably looking for a little bit more hold if she had the opportunity. Hold is created more by the ball speed. And some late help on that shot for all 10 down. Okay, Rock. We are guaranteed an international champion. On our show here today. Great light hit. I'll tell you, when you start to get those shakers that, you know, getting that four, five, seven out, that five, seven where the pins just spin and go, that's when you know you got, you're doing the right thing. You're getting your breaks too. That's the pocket. Two pin here. CT Raman. You know, you mentioned. You know, you mentioned the word breaks, and, and although we all like to look at ourselves sometimes when we're bowling and go, wow, I'm bowling really good, or oh, this is going great. When the lanes are tough and they are low scoring, you do need a break here and there to break up a split or, you know, roll the 5-7 for a triple or a double because really, when they're tough, that's what you're looking for. Takes care of the single pin spare conversion. Interesting the way she plants and finishes. Gets the ball a little bit straighter out in front of her. And again, 
right here, usually we see a lot more knee bend out of some of the power players. But right here, she gets into that slide, great power position, and just lets that ball drop and follows right through. Not a power player, a little bit more straighter, but definitely has access rotation off her hand. Nice shot right through the nose. And with as much as she gets around it, you would think she'd like to hook the lane a little bit more, and, and she can, but she does with her ball speed prefer to keep her angles a little bit more, you know, in front of her than really getting away with it uh, to the right. Tough conversion. See how she does. A four's up, rather, and can't handle a four pin. Open frame. Any player rolls a 300 game during our telecast. Won't see that in this match, but we'll see receive a $10,000 bonus courtesy of GoBowling.com. Could have it the championship match. Visit GoBowling.com to find local bowling centers, get tips from the pros, and for all the latest news and information about your favorite sport, bowling. Four pin. Team Columbia teammate, Rosier Restrepo, won the Cubica AMF PWBA Sonoma County Open to begin the season. Then it's Abyalova, won the Queens in Baton Rouge. So two international winners so far. A third will come here today. Team Columbia is here in force. I'd say that's a pretty stacked team. Clara's not in the picture, but where is she? I, I mean, that is a stacked team, isn't it? That's not the team I'd like to bowl against. No. Holy cow. Loaded. <laughs> Best shot of the day. Looks like she made that move to the left just a little bit. Again, not throwing it right, increasing her ball speed to create just a little bit of hold. About 25 at the arrows, out to about 12, but not throwing it down the lane. Great move. Ten pin stands for CT Raman. Gets the ball started, walks almost in front of the ball return and the on the way up to the line. Really good shot. Has a 10 pin. Try to find a groove in match number two. Neither bowler very emotional. You see no expression yet from either. No, it's that surprise you? It's funny. The, the, the one that really shows the most, um, you know, facial expressions and yells is Shaolin, who we've seen in the past on the U.S. Open show. And, Everybody else is a little bit more reserved, quiet, just up there doing their thing. Locked in. Four pin goes down late, big strike. A great piece of advice for anybody watching the show, no matter what, what level of bowl you're at, when you watch these women bowl, we talked about how they start the ball and the free swing and they let it go. It's so important to just let it drop from the top and do your thing. Don't try to force the ball. High shot, big four, and a big challenge for Juliana. Assuming this is an open frame makes it interesting at about the midway point of the match. Toughest conversions in the sport, 4-7 stands, open frame. A 
be honest, we talked about started her career collegiately at Maryland Eastern Shore. Not a good fit for her, so she went home. She's in college in Columbia studying financial engineering and still has a couple years to go in a five-year program. Seven pin there and is happy to be home with her dogs. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> she said that yesterday to us. Big dog person. This was a great shot. Left lane, she's had a nice look. Right here comes in just a little half pocket, tries to shove that five pin over and just leaves the seven standing. But whiffs on the seven. And Robin on the bench sees the lead dwindle to one, and she can take the lead. More bowling coming up on CBS Sports Network. Welcome back, everyone. Bowling on CBS Sports Network, PWBA Tour. Wichita Open from North Rock Lanes, 101 entries. The average to cash. And the tournament leader, Sin Lee Jane, looking for her first ever tour title. 223.71 average. Got her the top seed. And Carol and some other finishers. There we have Team Columbia right there. Clara Guerrero, Shannon Plahowski. We have Shannon O'Keefe there finishing sixth, having a, a good week. Amanda Green again making the finals. Verity Crowley, one of our leaders of an event. And special thanks to Brent Bowers, general manager of North Rock Lanes, for great hospitality. He and his great staff. We resume our match. For the lead, sixth frame, C.T. Raman. A strike, and for the first time, a an emotional, emotional <laughs> reaction, and the lead by nine pins. I think she was excited. That's excitement. Great shot, rolls right through this, makes the move left, does not, again, look at that, gets it out to about the 11th board, so didn't throw it. Remember, that tracer's so important on these patterns. Kept it right to the left of that tracer, gets the light shaker, and I gotta tell you, I think the light shaker hits have been carrying much better than the, the solid ones. Open for back-to-back -back jacks, but a four-pin stands. Keep this match very close. Any strike's a good strike when the bowlers are just absolutely trying to find that pocket. And that really wasn't that bad of a shot. Maybe just a little bit slow inside a target, but still got a break. Changes balls to shoot the stay. Let's go back to Shannon. Both players still have this left lane a little tighter down lane, which is sometimes why we're seeing them go high. They can't, they don't feel like they can get it as far right as they can on the right lane. So both players actually feel very comfortable. They have a clear picture of what they need to do. They just need to settle in and make good shots. Shannon, seven frame and the six pin. Helps understand as they try to find that one-three pocket, the two bowlers. It, look, it looks as if she's just trying to force it, trying to fit it, kind of like Shannon just said. You can't really cut it off because the ball is not going to hold online. It, it's going to go Brooklyn. It's going to go through the nose. So she's got to be a little bit more free with it. Maybe, you know, I mean, and it, here's the thing. When you're not comfortable and, and the condition is tough, you are gonna, you're gonna force it a little bit. But you really need to just step back and let it go because we know she can get the ball just a little bit right. Much better shot on this left lane. Here's a look. You're gonna see her projection through the front part of the lane right here. Much better going in the direction that it needs to go. Where the other one was just a little bit more in front of her. So if she continues to do that, she'll be able to create, a, she'll be able to create her own hold by her angle.
Anyone's match. Sinley Jane, top seed, awaits the winner. We've talked about this early, even with Liz, with that left shoulder. Look how, right here, look how great she leads with that left shoulder right there. And then allows the ball to drop right here freely. And that shoulder's still leading, but she doesn't bang it back. Ball's already on the descent as it's coming through. Great, great physical game. That's her mark. Keeping us neck and neck. Team Malaysia, you're a full-time bowler. Six, sometimes seven days a week, bowling, training, mental strength exercises. Needs that here in a big moment, comes through. You see that a lot when, when you have to play in, you know, the left lane, you can move as far left as you want. You don't feel like there's any hindrance as in the right lane, you have the ball return. All 10 down for Juliana. Tremendous shot in the foundation frame. Twenty first at the Queens in Baton Rouge. Best so far. This will be a lot better than that. Here we go, crunch time, tenth frame. <laughs> 60 feet to success for Juliana. And the lead in the 10th. Two fantastic shots. She can get as deep as she wants on this left lane. Just lays that ball into the pocket around the 12, 13 board down lane. Perfect. Feeling confident. Team Columbia teammates love it. Chance to strike out the 10th for a 22 pin lead. Very comfortable late in this match. Another 10 frame finish. Love it. Missed the puck at that time, but a pretty good finish for a 191 game. Two strikes to win. Goes for the first. And has it. Ten back in the pin. Fantastic shot, and she gave it the, the fist, the fist pump. Strike for the win. the deck for the 10 nudges it stands there oh here it is gotta have a spare for a tie my palms are sweaty again <laughs> that's a good thing because it's exciting bowling yes it is good have a roll off here one bowl roll off if it's tied 10 pin, gets it. And we're all tied.
a one ball roll off. The higher seed will get to choose the starting position and the lane. Our tournament director, Tennille Milligan, is the higher seed, so telling the players exactly the what the procedure is with this one ball roll off. Higher seed, CT Raman goes first, picks the lane. an eight pin count. Here's Juliana. Eight to tie, nine or better, will win the match and advance to the finals. Nine wins it. Seven. CT Raman wins on the bench. And advances to the championship match. Juliana Franco. Tough finish. All team Malaysian championship match. CT Raman. Sinley J, square off, a tour title at stake. We'll declare a winner on CBS Sports Network coming up next. Juliana <laughs> Franco did beat the legend Liz Johnson in match number one, but in the second match, CT Raman from Malaysia. One pin victory in the roll off, and she now will take on Sin Lee Jane her Malaysian teammate for the championship match here today. When you have the court, you have it all. The court features exclusive content that only the Boeing Supervan could appreciate. Thanks to the court, we can take you on a tour of the Wichita State University Bowling Facility. Hi, Bowling Superfans. My name is Sydney Brummett, and I'm a Wichita State Shocker Bowler. Today, we're just going to give you a quick tour of what is Wichita State Shocker Bowling. We have this awesome quilt that A.J. Chapman's Mom Sheila made for our program. It has all of our national championships on it. So also in the office we have the pro shop and each year we send the lights want to come on. Each year we send two to three of our players through uh, Ipsia training to drill balls just for people in our program. So this pro shop is just for us. We're super spoiled. It's awesome. My favorite jersey? Oh. I really like this one. My other favorite one is hidden. I like this one a lot. I also won in this one. So down here on a typical day, you'll find basically all these seats taken up by players. We kind of occupy this space. Um, but this is open to the public as well and um, our, the rest of our students on campus. Um, but you will all the time find us down here trying to get our homework done before practice. So up there on the wall, you'll see two little white things with black in them and those are cameras. So those cameras film us from behind and we can bowl and then up on the screen we can watch the shot that we just did. So we get some instant feedback of what's going on in our game and not have to take the time to really record ourselves because we can watch it right away, instant feedback, change what we need to be changing. That's about it for Shocker Bowling and all of its awesomeness that we have down here. We like to say thank you to you guys for checking out our awesome facility and, and touring this place with us. and. Thank you to Coach Absolutely. L for dealing with me most of the time. <laughs> I pre and dealing with my questions. That's what he always says. That's, that's true. I ask a lot of questions. Very true. Thanks, Sydney. Well done. And thanks, Coach Lewis, for that. Great access. Some alumni on the PWBA Tour. Current players, with some really good, talented bowlers like Rocio Restrepo, we see in the crowd today, Jazzville Tan. So many great champions on the PWBA Tour. Coming up next, the championship match. Sin Lee Jane from Malaysia. CT Raman from Malaysia. International champion crowned, it's on the way. If you're a bowling super fan looking to be part of a bowling community with access to the most exclusive content, inside information, and a chance to win VIP event experiences, then you need to be part of 
The Core. Visit bowl.com slash the core for more information on how to subscribe. Start our telecast today. Only Liz Johnson with 21 career titles had any championships. So a new where to be crowned championship match. Sinley Jane from Malaysia against her teammate. CT Raman. Jane starts. Not a good start. No, but again, I always I do. I feel for it because it's the first shot. You're by yourself. Even though you're bowling your teammate, it's it's a singles event. Nerves, and and it, we've all been there. It 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 is. Those first two shots are really a little tough. Not only that, as we've talked about and seen what the other girls have done, she she went a little more right to left with that pattern, and you saw Liz struggle earlier trying to do that same thing. So she'll have to just increase her ball speed. She said that's one of her strengths is her ball speed. So that's one of the things she'll focus on. Could not convert the four, six, seven, nine, ten. So here comes CT Raman. Match two roll off. Looked like Franco was going to take it, but only could produce seven pins. That was a great shot, leaves the 10 pin. And I, you know, CT also has to have a little bit of confidence because she just won in a roll off. So she made some good shots in the 10th. Again, went to a roll off, won the roll off. So it's got to build your, not only your confidence, but know what you're doing is working. Takes care of the 10 pin. She seemed as surprised as anyone that she was able to advance with the roll off. Let's go back to Shannon. CD, as you can see, is playing much further left than Jane. Uh, she's actually doing it right now with a pretty strong asymmetrical ball. Her plan is if this ball starts reading too early, she's going to go to something that's a little cleaner and comes off of a little bit more. Jane, on the other hand, she's using a really strong ACM ball, 500 on it, getting on top of it. She wants the ball to read as early as possible and then lay off down lane. Six ten. This left lane too has been the one that seems to go through the transition the most, and then it flops. So it's kind of ironic when you see them make the move. What's actually going to happen? She gets that a little inside the target. Only got it out to about thirteen. We've seen earlier. I think she's going to have to make, like we said, the moves are going to have to be left. And with with her, she's able to get the ball a little bit further right and get that recovery. So I think she needs to move left and almost keep her eyes the same. Trust it. Just trust it a little bit to the right. And I know checking with Cecil here is keeping score. Strikes have been close to the same on both lanes. Tournament to date. Challenge. Six, seven, ten. Jane trying to play much further right. Six. She's going more from six to ten. Right to left. Again, I don't believe this pattern gives you much hold. You're going to have to increase your ball speed. Or she has the game just like Liz. A, again, her asset, ball speed. What she needs to do is make that parallel. That's what the girls did all week is a two and two, a three and two, something like that to get off that spot where it actually changes her angle just a little bit. Again, ball speed, so crucial. Liz, what got Liz to the show? Got Liz to the show. I threw it harder as the matches went on. That's what she said. So these are two assets that she needs to use. 
This is the target. 2 4 10 stand here. Another challenge as each bowler just tries to find the groove and get in that 1 3 pocket consistently. Both girls and including everybody on the Malaysian team. They are shot makers. They are not going to miss their target very often. They're going to stay in the moment. They're going to make their spares. Right now, I think she's in that dead zone. That's basically the way I can say it. She needs to move off of that spot and get left. Just missed, kicking across the deck, but the 10 pin still stands. So it's an open frame for Jane. 32 pin lead, CT Raman. One of the keys to these patterns also is the moves, even though subtle, at times, if it doesn't work, it needs to be a zone. So going from first arrow to third arrow is not unheard of. Temp in there by far her best finish, as we saw on the PWBA Tour. Jane gets advice from her ball rep. CT Raman takes care of the 10 pin, has a mark. And a big lead in the championship match. Let's look at the comparison. So here's Jane playing much straighter. Again, they'll look at the leverage into the line. Much straighter, going right to left, about six at the arrows. CT, we got her way in, about 18, 19 at the arrows, getting it down to about 11. So you're seeing two different styles. But here's the clincher. The break point can be the same. That's one of the things that you have to pay attention to, whether you throw it straight or whether you hook it. For example, when you watch a Liz and a Kelly, Break point might be 12. Liz might be a little further right than Kelly, but they're still getting it to near the same point down the lane. So they are playing where the break point is on that pattern. Jane, with frame, high shot, but let's have a nine pin count and leaves the 10. Let's go back to Shannon. I just spoke with Jim Callahan, Jane's ball rep, and she felt like she made a pretty good uh, shot on that left lane when she went light and she moved one left with her feet so what she's going to do is she can move back to the right and she's going to throw harder that absolutely that i mean it's one of her assets i mean the two things we talked to her uh last night about tell us something that you do really great and she looks she has i'm straight down and in and i have a lot of ball speed when i need it absolutely now we did talk about weakness, and she said, but one of my weaknesses is staying positive. So I have to make sure that I forget. If something happens, I need to forget it, and I need to focus on the shot at hand. Let's see if she can apply that right here. Confidence, focus, critical. In the championship match. Find that pocket. 2 way double one instead. Definitely a little bit of a better shot, but as you can see, she definitely doesn't have very much miss area. I'm not saying that, you know, either one of them have a lot of miss area, but what we've seen is as play goes on and as the lanes transition, you do have more room the further left you move in. Again, ball speed helps you to create that hold. And if you do have a little bit more access rotation, you can get that ball back off the end of that pattern. Good cover, good mark. And more advice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. CT Raman a chance to go up by 43 pins. Fifth frame works on a strike. Finds the pocket. 
That's a great shot to look at. If you see right there, she hit the tracer down lane. Now she's been hitting about that 11-12, okay? Been great. Here she hits a light hit. Now let's watch where the ball gets down to. Still hits about, again, 18-19 at the arrows, but look at here. She's been keeping it left of the tracer. Right now, she is right of the tracer, but her ball is reading the end of the pattern and she gets that light shaker. That's where I think Jane needs to be looking at where that hook spot is and now get her ball and her angle to hit that same area. Going up by 53 pins. Somehow the 10 pin does not fall there, Carolyn. Amazing. But she looks comfortable and confident now. So much strategy, so much involved in trying to win on tour. You against the lanes, right? You really, Ten pin. you are really bowling against the lane. You're not really bowling against your pin. You're bowling against what you're trying to figure out. Jane down by 42. Raman looking for a first title. Has a big lead, trying to close it out when we return. C.T. Rahman, Sinley Jane from Malaysia won to win her first career PWBA Tour title. Wichita Open Finals. Time is now for Sinley Jane. Need to stack up some strikes in a hurry. That's a good start. Right there. Moved zones and, and great ball reaction. A, she executed. Great ball reaction. And here we go. It wasn't a small move. It wasn't that two and one, three and one. She moved zones. She is now getting her ball to about 15 at the arrows. Again, not getting what left of the tracer at 11. Smooth reaction right off the pattern. Perfect shot. Plenty of ball speed. Just misses the pocket, not by much. Three pin stands. She'll change balls to shoot at the spare. She'll make a move on that lane, I'm sure, on her next shot. Has the right lane. Not had a double the entire match. Raman has fourth and fifth frames. Her seventh. Up 42, works on a spare. Boy, it's a nasty split, just a four pin. Great shot. She looks a lot more comfortable even than the last match when she had some good shot making there at the end of the match. But boy, she looks much more confident. Gets a four pin, change balls. Make the spare, fill the frame and move on, right? Like we've talked about. Staying solid. Has her spare. I'm very interested to see how the winner reacts because neither are emotional bowlers. We've seen that. That's just their style, who they are. Looks like Raman with that big lead. Could be the one celebrating pretty soon. Big frame, wiggling four pin. Stays up. Another good shot. All she's doing is just controlling the pocket. Again, four pin. I don't want to say an easy spare because I don't think anything is easy. <laughs> Not on TV, <laughs> right? On TV. A lot but, of pressure. <laughs> but, but controlling the pocket is much easier than not controlling the pocket.
stays clean, has the mark, and stays in control of the championship match. Then is that Yalova, won the Queens in Baton Rouge, Rocio Restrepo, Cubica AMF PWBA Sonoma County Open champion this year on tour. About to have our third international champ crowned in a moment. Very good shot, bring a 10 pick. It was a very good shot on this right lane after making that move. And again, the, you know, everybody watching at home, this is something you can really practice when you're at home. If you're looking for one of those tips about ball speed, you can do so much with it. You should practice being able to throw the ball a little bit harder and a little bit softer. And you don't do it with your arm, you do it with your feet. Foot speed is what controls your speed. You don't want to mess around with your arm and your swing. But that's what Jane does, speeds up her feet a little bit, gets that ball speed just, in, you know, increases it just enough to keep the ball online. Last year runner-up, Greater Detroit Open. Unless you can have a miraculous turnaround. About to be second again. Also, Rocio Restrepo last year. Just not enough frames to make that move on the left lane. Probably had to make just a little bit of a bigger move. Or, again, we talk about it, increase her ball speed. She's not throwing it as hard as I've seen her throw it in match play. I, she she gets as hard she can throw it as hard as Liz. But probably a little bit of a bigger move would have given her a little bit more of a of a pocket on that left lane. Just needs nine here. That's ten. And a winner. CT Raman of Malaysia has won her first ever PWBA Tour title. And it comes at the Wichita Open. First ever for a Malaysian bowler. That's got to be a huge thrill for her. Something she talked about with us pre-match would be such an honor. History made here today. Get a cake here. Double strikes here. It's midfield moment of the match. Carolyn had to be the roll off we saw earlier. Absolutely. Both girls came through in the 10th frame. Got it a little inside her target. Got eight. But Juliana just didn't get it there. Winner by one. And now a winner in the championship match as well. C.T. Raman has a championship on the PWBA Tour. What a moment for C.T. Raman and Team Malaysia. The PWBA Wichita Open on CBS Sports Network is sponsored by A Future for the Sport. Visit bowl.com or bpaa.com today to find out more. Buy Pepsi, the official soft drink of the PWBA Tour. And buy Kago, your lanes, our passion. CT Raman from Malaysia, first time in her career, a champion of the PWBA Tour. She wins here today, Brent Bauer, general manager of North Rock Lanes in Wichita, and Shannon, trophy presentation. CD, this is the first professional title of your career, but also for the country of Malaysia. How does that feel for you? Um, I feel so happy, really happy, that I won the first, my first PWBA uh, title. Yeah. And how does this, what does this mean for your country to take this back home? Uh, 
it's very it's very prestigious for our country and for myself and for my family. Yeah. Well, congratulations. CD Raman. Thank you. Team Malaysia players, coaches, pretty happy as well for CT Raman. Congratulations, a winner on the PWBA Tour. We got more coming up on CBS Sports Network.